It's getting scary, dawg. I'm not lying to you, bro. It's getting real scary in the NFL. You hear me? A rookie quarterback and a rookie running back just went to Lambeau Field and thrashed them dudes. And this guy wasn't even playing. How about them Cowboys, man? Like, each week, I'm nervous, I'm scared. I ain't even gonna lie, man. I feel this way each week. I, I overthink things, especially we going into Lambeau. Y'all know how good Aaron Rodgers is at Lambeau Field, man. We going, we going in with no devs. We going again. We going in with a defense that ain't really, you know. It's Aaron Rodgers, man. He's very capable of torching us. But for some reason, Aaron Rodgers ain't really been the Aaron Rodgers I'm used to seeing this season. So I guess we just caught a break. We up in there making Aaron Rodgers fumble. We up in there throw, uh, making Aaron Rodgers throw picks, right? <laughs> They were making me so proud, man. Shout out to the defense, man. Get well, Morris Claiborne, man. I got, I was pissed, man. I was just like, man, get him off the field, man. Get him off the field. Every time somebody breathes on him, yeah. But I have to, you know, calm myself down, man. Morris Claiborne been, been our best defensive guy easily this season. He got off the field under his own powers. Probably just a concussion. We're going into the bye week. He'll be good by Philadelphia game, I'm sure. So I ain't even worried about that. Dak Prescott, 247 yards, man. Three TDs. My boy finally threw a pick, man. Finally threw a pick. You know, of course, he can't go his whole career without throwing a pick. We all always knew he would throw a pick eventually, you know what I mean? So he finally threw it. I was kind of relieved. Like, all right. I guess it kind of like brought me back down to earth, so to say. And this wasn't even his best game, man. I done seen him play a little bit better this season. But nonetheless, it was a great game. You know, he made some poor throws. But for the most part, he made all the right decisions. When to use his feet. When to, you know, Cole Beasley. Shout out Cole Beasley, man. The boy is balling, man. The boy is balling. I'm trying to think of... Cole Beasley is balling, man. He playing like a top 10 white out this season. And to be honest with you... With the loss of Dez, he really been looking like the number one target on the Cowboys, honestly. My faith in Cole Beasley has grown so much, like, and it, and it grows week by week. Like, I really am developing a fascination. Like, I am really becoming, like, a really big Cole Beasley fan, man. The same way Dez just grew over me, just grew on me as the games went on, man. And I saw how productive and how good this guy was. Shout out Cole Beasley, man. But Zeke, Zeke the free Elliot, I'm telling you, man. Hey. Hey, let that young boy eat, you hear me? The boy is a monster, man. 157 yards, bro. The boy is just simply a monster. I mean, ain't, ain't no way else to put it. I mean, he, he, I don't see how you can get a rookie of the year to anybody other than Dak or Zeke unless they just f completely fall off a cliff this season. But it's easily Dak or Zeke, man. The young boys just balling, man. They went into Lambo. They went into Lambo. They went into Lambo and smashed Aaron Rodgers, you hear me? My faith in my guys is solidified, man. If we can win in Lambo, bro, if we can win against Aaron Rodgers and the Green Bay Packers in Lambo Field, there isn't a place that we can't win, man. Like, it don't really get too much challenging in that, bro. Like, uh, well, Tom Brady and Foxborough, but... It's, uh, you can win in Lambo, bro. We can beat anybody in the, in the, in the NFC, bro. We can beat Aaron Rodgers. My boy is good, man, for real. And a part of me is relieved that we are going into the bye week, man. That'll give Dez some more time to heal up. That'll give everybody some time to just recuperate, relax, settle down. Every week is always this roller coaster ride with the Dallas Cowboys and the Dak, Dak Prescott and the Ezekiel Elliott show. Everybody can just relax now. We got a bye week coming up. We're going into the bye week five and one. That feels so good to say, man, because we went through hell last year. Shout out to Will, boy. I see you out there doing your thing, boy. I remember I seen that catch. We was trying to score before halftime. That boy almost didn't go out of bounds. He almost did that bull again, dog. But I ain't gonna lie, though. It was some stuff that was just like, really, like, just setting me off, bro. Like, pissing me off. Sean Lee almost had a pick, bro. He almost had a pick. And he dropped that joint like I was livid. Morris Claiborne got knocked out the game. I was livid when it was like third and like 10 or something. And Aaron Rodgers threw an incomplete pass. And then they called a rough in the passer. I forgot who it was that hit Aaron Rodgers late, bro. But it was a rough in the passer call. Bro, I almost threw my... Bro, I was livid, dog. It's, it's, sometimes it's just best I watch Cowboys games by myself, man. Cause I'm a, I'm an emotional roller coaster watching my guys play, man. I just want us to do well. I just want us to be, to be efficient, man. I just want to see Zeke do well, Dak. I want to see Mo do. Well. I just want to see everybody do well, bro. 
and I'm yelling and I'm and I'm and I'm and I'm, and I'm punching the air and I can't be doing that around people. I be done elbow somebody, call somebody with one of them chicken wings. I ain't got time to be going to the court to fight, fight these charges. But at the end of the day, my boys are five and one, and I'm happy, man. The defense was solid. The offense was amazing and solid as usual. The O line was straight moving traffic. You hear me? Going against that number one defense. That number one defense didn't look like no number one defense today. You hear me? I'm telling you, man. That O line, man. Psh. $100 million on that old line. Jerry knew what he was doing. I give him credit for that. Jerry knew what he was doing. $100 million on that old line is showing. It has been showing for the last two, three years. Right, we're going into the bye week. Philly just took this L today, so they 4-2 now. Every, life is just luxurious for Cowboys fans. Or they're 3-2, one of them. But all I know is we number one in the division. You hear me? We went into this bye week. Then we got Philly, man. We're going to knock Philly out of there. Hopefully, hopefully. Hopefully, let me be humble. We 5 1, let me be humble, man. Cowboys Nation, we in this thing, you hear me? Cowboys Nation, turn up. Ooh. Guys, kings, and queens, y'all remember to love somebody, hug somebody. I'm out. You're here today, you're going today. I'm out.